Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Swadeshi VIP. In this video, we will be discussing Jones disease in cows. Jones disease is an infectious wasting condition of cattle and other ruminants caused by Mycobacterium avium subspecies paratuberculosis, commonly known as MAP. It is closely related to the organism that causes tuberculosis. The disease progressively damages the intestines of affected animals and in cattle this results in profuse and persistent diarrhea, severe weight loss, loss of condition and infertility too. Affected animals eventually and inevitably die. Let's understand the causes of Jones disease. Ruminant enteritis, known as Jones illness, is brought on by paratuberculosis. This microorganism attaches to the ileum, the bottom portion of the small intestine. Time. As part of the immune response, sick tissue make an effort to grow new healthy tissues, which causes the intestines to seem visibly thicker. This stops nutrients from being absorbed, which causes weight loss. Animal serum can include antibodies produced late in the infection, which is a clue that clinical symptoms of illness and infection related to mortality will soon follow. M. paratuberculosis grows and multiplies inside the cells of an animal's immune system and is excreted in the feces and to a lesser extent in milk and saliva. When the microbe is excreted, it can contaminate the soil or water. Outside the host animal, the organism multiplies poorly if at all but it can survive over a year in the environment because of its resistance to heat, cold and drying. The primary cause of the spread of Jones disease is contact with the feces or saliva of an infected animal. Prenatal exposure may be source of infection for calves becoming infected before birth is impossible for a fetus if its mother is in late stages of Jones disease. Another source of infection is milk from infected dams. There are huge concerns in many beef and dairy herds across the world about the prevalence of Jones disease. Jones disease symptom may not manifest for years after the original infection because of the gradual progressive nature of the illness. When they eventually arrive, the symptoms include persistent diarrhea and weight loss despite of healthy appetite. Bottle jaw, which is caused by fluid buildup in the lower jaw, may develop also. Once the clinical symptoms start to show, the animal won't get better and will only become worse. There is no treatment for Jones disease till date. But there are many ways from which you can keep your herd safe. Prevention is the most cost-effective way to manage Jones disease. It is far less expensive to block introducing Jones disease into a herd than it is to control or eradicate the infections once it creeps in and invisibly starts to spread. Testing ill-looking animals can confirm whether Jones disease is present. If it is, it may be more economical to cull infected animals. If not, the animal must be managed to ensure no young animals are exposed to their milk or manure. Newborn animals must be protected from infection by being born and raised in a clean environment and fed milk and water free of M. paratuberculosis contamination. The primary source of contamination is manure from an infected adult animal. Producers are advised to purchase animals from a source herd free of Jones disease. Second, the best is to work with a producer who knows the level of Jones disease in his or her herd, follows good infection control practices and purchases test negative animals from test negative dams. Jones disease is a heart problem that knowing the test status of numerous adults in the source herd will give you much better sense of the risk of purchasing an infected animal than the one test result you might get on the one animal you wish to buy. The risk of Jones disease has already been reduced with the availability of vaccination in US. Mycobacteria that have been destroyed and oil are combined with the vaccination. At the injection location which is often the brisket area, it can occur occasionally result in significant lumps. Sometimes these lumps will develop into lesions that resemble draining abscesses. Although calves less than 30 days old get the vaccination, the tissue response at the injection site may persist for the duration of the animal. Another vaccination containing live M. paratuberculosis is accessible elsewhere but not capable of causing disease. The effectiveness of immunization is debatable. According to studies conducted, herd owners who implemented the suggested management measures to combat John disease will have just as much success as those who utilize the vaccination. So I hope this information was helpful for you. For more informative videos on cattle health and products, stay connected with us on our channel Swadeshi VIP. Thank you.